Hi, Aries, and welcome. You're here with Bella Katrina, the angels. We've got romance angels, spirit oracle, archangel Michael, Jesus, and the angels and soulmate cards. So welcome. Thanks for joining me. We have picked up in the vibration of Aries a little bit of self being self-conscious almost like having a big pimple on your face you know and you're self-conscious about it so there's no deep meaning for it it's just a feeling maybe you don't even have the pimple right so we've brought in symbols here and then they're new symbols to me and um i've been working with them with my clients through anything with lack of confidence so this is to give you massive confidence and also Archangel Michael's here so you can receive them but you cannot give them and you cannot use them unless you're attuned if that makes sense so Rama, Sona and Halu and I'm going to draw them for you as you take a big deep breath and say yes I am open to receiving now and they're asking they're going to bring you guidance on the confidence because look there's a few infinity symbols here. So this is also and my twin flame symbol. There is no condemnation or resent me in me, for me or round about me. Divine love and harmony reign supreme in me and in my world. So all criticism now ceases. So very, very um, vulnerable to judgment and criticism at the moment. Right, so just know that this time will pass and this is what this reading is about for Aries is to bring you a dose of confidence and you receive it energetically in a frequency of light going into your body. So the first one that's come up is Jesus. So he's standing right next to you. So it looks a bit silly from heaven when you look down upon yourself because we're multidimensional, we can do that. That's what happened to me. I looked down and I was like, he's following me around and I'm ignoring him. And then I'm upset. I'm like, I can't get out of here. Like, how, how are you going to get out of here? Where is your soul going? You know, it's like that. It's like, then I turn around and it's like, oh, the vibration of love is Jesus. So he appeared once I got my heart cleared. Help me with unforgiveness, though. So just chill out, Aries. Relax and know that you are a being of light and you're a wonderful, creative child of God and you're very, very loved. And just allow yourself right to pass through this time of self-consciousness being self-conscious ah got the light here sorry peace be unto you as my father hath sent me so that means he sent him for the way out so now we can be at peace Otherwise, we panic. So that's why it's revealed to us that we are awakening our DNA and our coding. We set a timer that we would awaken to the truth because we have to not only receive where we are, what's happening in the world, what's happening around us and their agenda for depopulation and how they're going to do that. But we also have to be aware and open to the magic of the opposite side of like, what is the salvation here? Why is my way out? So they sort of revealed to me at the same time these things, you know, I revealed, they revealed to me, they, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, I got baptized and they come in now in comfort. So we're in training for our spiritual gifts because in heaven, we don't worry, we just share there's no self-consciousness and thou shalt love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind sorry about that that's my light so when things go off track it's a lack of this connection you know in a 12-step program it's the first thing you have to actually hand yourself over to something that's bigger than you your creator somebody who created you I mean Jesus knows you through the Creator, He knows you better than anybody. So when you connect more deeply to your Creator, then everything improves. And um, it's a choice, you know, it's a conscious choice. Jesus loves you. He's standing right next to you. Say, hi, Jesus. I let you into my heart. I believe you died on the cross. I'm going to tell your Father that I believe that and I'm going to confess it with my mouth. That's the first step, really. And then watch what happens. It takes, you know, it happens in divine timing. So um, I'm getting used to it because I'm very impatient. No. Yes. No. Yes. 
very impatient. So um, maybe some of you can relate to that. And I think, is that a lesson I'm learning, that the reward of patience is patience? It's like, would I really have agreed to that at a soul level? Because it's excruciating. It's like, yes, you did. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom to clearly, so I can clearly express myself and glean insight, blessings and healing. So Aries, this is a call for you to actually start journaling and also to write down goals. Start to think on paper right because it actually gets it out of your energetic field and onto the earth plane it anchors it there in your word when you write it or type it so you can let go of stuff and release it burn it bury it drown it and then write down your new goal i am done with this and this is what i want so it's like the opposites magnify the one you want and disintegrate the one you don't want there might even be a love letter to write to an ex or to a family member expressing your anger and exactly how they made you feel because you didn't do it at the time and that's all that's coming up. It's an old energy and it's like vibing around you. And if you put it down on paper and say, I choose to release it, it's done. Isn't that good? It's good. So please do that and be sure to, because this, what we're doing now is we're jam packing your aura full of life force, right? This is universal life force or the vibration of love. So when you write this down and release it, it's automatically going to refill with love. That's the power of Reiki and Bella. It's not just Reiki. It's Reiki by Bella. <laughs> Do you love it? Okay, let's have a look what the Romance Angels coming up for Aries this month because they're going to open their heart wide open after they walk through this passage of paranoia or self-consciousness. And you've got to remember, people aren't even thinking about you. Most people are thinking about themselves. They're not even looking at your pimple. So you've got to fake it till you make it. Coming in with deserve love. And then you shoot your arrow. So you're going to go for it because you deserve it, because you know you deserve it. It's like going for that job because you know you deserve it. You've worked hard at it. You know how to do it. It's your turn. So this is in love. But it also does show up in money. They're showing me in opportunities to express your spiritual gifts and be rewarded with money. So this is also knowing that the universe loves you, like the world's going to love you. You're not going to be criticised for your gifts. Because in heaven, we only, that's all we do is share our spiritual gifts. So you don't want to get there and not know. Because sometimes, you know, you might not get there because you're too worried about the yuck yuck. And over here, and if you don't call on Jesus, you can't go because he's the only way. God said you have to go through my son. I used to fight with my brother about it going, Jesus is not the only way. Years and years of it. Now I'm like, Jesus is the only way. <laughs> but I found it out through energy. Do you understand? I connected to source, got out of my mind, filled up, connected to guys, fifth dimensional grid, plugged into the cosmic, galactic and universal gateways. They plug into your system forming gossamer threads into twined cables that have double helixes that plug in. We're going from 2 DNA to 12 DNA. So no wonder you feel a bit off. Do you know what I mean? Just chill out. Don't get anxiety around it because here... In the past, you put up with somebody who didn't love you back because you had the own self-criticism and that's leaving. That's why I feel a bit yuck now. I call it yuck yuck, but it's a really low vibration. Um, it's the end of the world. It's never going to happen for me. Nobody ever loves me. Unrequited love. You didn't get it back. So you're releasing an ex. This is, could have happened in the last couple of weeks even. It's very fresh. And it feels like you're thinking about how you can fix it, how you can make it better. And that's the loop that you're breaking. And here's the letter that you're writing. See? You, thank you for being such an outrageous psychopath, narcissist or addict, someone who's addicted. Like if you weren't that bad, I wouldn't have got it. I wouldn't have realised that there's nothing there for me, nothing there for me. Nothing's coming back to me. I'm not getting chemistry. I'm not getting the connection. So I used to make that mean there's something wrong with me. This is a self-consciousness. But in actual fact... It's a pattern that I'm breaking and it started when I was young and I didn't have, and that's why I've come in to break it through the gen genetics. Do you understand? Like our parents were like this and their parents. So this is massive. This is epic and look, you're free. Aries, 
oh my gosh, it's like th next three days you're going to feel unreal. You're going to go, this was the best thing that has ever happened to me. And stop being beating yourself up about it because you had to do it because you're different now your frequency is different you're awakening there's different codes in your genetic coding you chose that that was all written in it was a contract but it's over so let the guilt go let the shame go declare anything that you feel guilty for to jesus not to your ex please so it's like going through customs isn't it you got to declare your sins you got to declare I, I did this this was a pretty shitty thing to do or I did this and I didn't feel good about that or I should have done this and I didn't so can you know I'm going to show you and I'm going to tell you Jesus I'm going to show you I'm going to declare it so therefore I'm free there's nothing lurking in the closet there's no yuck yuck so that what that does is creates a new you that you realize who you are you're like, even though I've got a pimple on my face or, and I feel self-conscious about it, I still deserve love because that's who I am. I am love and that's why I came here. And I'm going to have compassion for myself for doing without it. Doing without a need. And I didn't realize it was such a need, but a need's different to a want. And now this is the reshaping of you. It's like now I need it. I don't just want it. It's difference between, you know, wanting to go to the toilet and needing to. There's a definite difference in the frequency. It's like, get out of my way. One's, one's like, get out of my way. The other one's like, hmm, um, maybe we'll go this way. Because you're thinking about it in advance. But once you need it, it's too late. It's like, excuse me, get out of my way. I'm in there. No waiting in the queue, you know? So this is what's coming up. It's like, I need to feel loved and I need to be needed. And here, it ignites something. It's like having the old dead fire, you know, that like after a fire goes through the bush, but it actually creates the fertilizer that it has to happen. It's like nature. So this is showing me that everything's yuck, um, burnt, you know, it's cinders. And those cinders now you're creating new life. This is not going back into the past. This is moving forward. This is look who I am. I like to have fun. I like freedom. I don't want to have D&Ms all the time. I don't like mood swings, right? I like to keep it light. I like to do a bit of exercise. I like to get out in nature. I like to giggle. I like to laugh. I like to talk silly. And then I really do like to create. I like to anchor it down here. I like to show it up. I like to see my car manifest in the driveway i like to see my love manifest and be reflected back at me from the one i'm with mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is nice i felt really good there right because this is like oh i haven't had this this didn't exist in the past one maybe just fragments of it but this is it for me and i am passion if there's ever a passionate lover out there it's aries for sure for sure. So don't worry, pimple and all, you're hot stuff and you have electricity in your sacral sexual energy, right, that is really creative and you came down just to create it like fun, like a child. So don't get into any DMs. don't talk adult talk, get present and talk about how you're feeling and what you would like to create. And then your spiritual gifts come out and attract in. This is, I, I see electricity here, like I see, you know, woohoo. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Now, let me just see if I can find this. Why wouldn't I be able to find it? Okay, well, I'm going to clarify this here because look, it looks like a two part, like here is the the old story. You see here the old story. Sorry, I'm showing it to you. The old story, past, present, and then getting to know yourself or actually I wasn't asking for a need and I have to have it. So then your soulmate Reiki will help you with that. If you need help with that, it's a workshop, does needs, deal breakers in meditation. And things come up that you're not even aware of. And once you know, then it's automatically, it's like sending the frequency out and they turn up in the next partner that you attract in because we do a soul call to the one who's got those. And Jesus and Archangel Michael oversee it. So this is you free in the middle. Right, so up here is the first chapter, it's like the old chapter and then it's like um, intermission. It's like the first part of the play, then there's intermission and then, is there another card? We're missing a card. 
Oh, it's up there, sorry. But what happened there? This is the outcome. So this is the last chapter. Chapter. This is the last scene. Do you know what I mean? Like this is the second half of the love story. The old had to go. How are they ever going to get out of this? How is there ever going to find love again? And then look, they spark their little flirtation up, put their little shorts on, wiggle their little butt, and out they go. And there they are swinging around. And look, mm, it's going to just come on top of you quickly and just catch you. So that's really really good because you're not expecting this this comes and and sneaks up on you it sneaks up on you because you don't care you're like i'm over it i don't i don't need any of that at the moment and then that actually has no resistance so what comes in is flirtation playfulness and passion so we're going to just ask these angels here for Dorian virtue for just some clarity around this because this is what you're shifting right now. It's been hectic, I'd say, for the last three, four weeks. But you knew before that. Like, you knew it. So it's actually manifested now. So it's been a bit of a tough time. The other thing that's been missing is fun. Your, ch your child, your inner child, wants to play, have some fun, flick some sand in your face and run. You know, no more D&Ms. Don't talk to D&M people. D&M people. <laughs> got to talk to yourself meditation is receiving the messages slowing down your mind areas and receiving what will make me happy and so this is a download you might not get anything you might not get actually anything but you're getting frequency when you slow down so do my 45 minute meditation and then after that you, you follow anything you hear see think or feel because it's a download and then you get the uploads when you need them but you're not doing the download so then you get upset when you don't get the upload that's what's happening so that's taking time out. This is what you're changing. And in nature is going to amplify everything. Making love outdoors, you know, camping, going in the water, bushwalks. Anything like that will help clear your mind, slow you down and get you connected to the earth barefoot in nature and then you're fun because that's what you did as children. I never wore shoes. Answered prayer. An answered prayer for Aries. So you've got to trust, right, that the, you knew that this was going to happen and you, your soul said yes because there was a reward coming, wasn't there? There was a reward. And you don't want to miss a reward because you're worrying about the pimple on your face or, you know, the um, failure or the this or the that or how come I didn't see that or no more of that beating yourself up. Just go, Whew. thank goodness that's over. I think I just dodged a bullet. Fear not, beloved one, your prayers have been heard and answered. All of your prayers are always answered. Sometimes you may not feel this way because the answer comes in unexpected ways. This is very unexpected for you. <laughs> Perhaps you receive an intuitive feeling or a new opportunity appears or a book falls off the shelf. The angels answer our prayers in very often by giving us ideas or information in these everyday ways. By drawing this card, the angels request that you be extra observant. Notice everything that you hear, see, say, think and feel. Did I just say that? I've got um, deja vu. Oh, I said that in the meditation. I thought, have I read this card? Be especially alert to help that comes to you and be sure to accept that help. You do deserve this assistance and many times God enlists people to act as earth angels who bring you answers to your prayers. Here comes an earth angel sneaking up right behind your Aries to plant one right on you. <laughs> this is the part of the movie that twists, you know, everything's going really yuck yuck and then boom, 10 minutes later they're sailing off into the sunset happy as Larry. Now who is Larry? Okay, so do we do Archangel Michael? He's saying go forward fearlessly. Just go forward fearlessly from this moment on. We're just going to do a little message here from the Spirit Oracle. You got that message about writing stuff down. And then we're going to do Soulmate cards. So this is a Soulmate reading for the next chapter for Aries because we're in intermission, aren't we? <laughs> Yeehaw! Makes for a great story, right? And you guys are great storytellers. So even um, instead of talking about the past, have a fantasy conversation with a mate about how you want it to be. 
as though it's already happening. Go, wow, I'm so glad I got out of that marriage or that relationship or those addictions, those mood swings. They bothered me and I had to go to the doctor about it. <laughs> no. Nah. Go, wow, now I'm free. Clean slate from nothing. I can have everything. So what do I want? Oh, well, it's so fantastic, you know. I just fell madly in love. It was only three days later. I couldn't even believe it because in your mind you wouldn't think that was logical after only like leaving a marriage three weeks ago. But bang, it was just like clear. It was like oh, all in divine timing. And people are even like, are you sure you're over that? You know, to be honest, it's like, yeah, they, they weren't me. I was over it like very time, like emotionally a long time ago. So you've got to own that. And here comes love. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to do the whole thing, the whole thing. I'm not going to do that one. Hang on. We're here. Surrender. This is in the past. I feel angels around you right now. They just came in. So we're surrounding where you are, surrounding your home or your room full of angels. So just take a big deep breath, close your eyes and just palms up and just receive any healing and know that you're protected and surrender. Remain positive about the future of our planet for all it is for all is part of humanity's evolution. There is a divine order to all the chaos which you perceive that exists in our world. Nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all as it is. Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations and your life will magically transform. So that's what you're doing. And look what comes in. Do, 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 do. Negative thoughts and feelings are sabotaging your pursuit of happiness. We, your angels, are here to help you. Heal. Allow our healing light to flow through your heart. Consciously infuse each negative thought or feeling with love and light. Feel both your heart and mind aligning to your soul's sacred purpose and unleash your divine potential through the power of love. Now, I know it seems like I get excited about these things, but this is epic. I mean, humanity hasn't experienced this, so we have to, like, the the Reiki masters, right, Jesus and Michael, they were like, you're not understanding what you're doing with the attunement, with frequencies and with sending it out. Like, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. <laughs> They're like, it's happening. A, a lot more is happening than I think. You know, we're doing a lot more. So as soon as I attune somebody, that frequency goes out to everyone they meet all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the rest of their life. It's like, oh, I didn't realise it was like well, so full on. They're like, no, get excited about it. Attunements are the go. The go. <laughs> we, we know that by how we feel after them. Feelings which you have suppressed for a very long time are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. These are writing down, thanks for being so crappy. Thanks for being such a la-la. And you can even get angry. Feelings that you have suppressed for a very long time are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. You are torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. And this is the primary cause of stress in your life. We, your angels, urge you to follow your heart. Do what you would love and not what you think you should do. Right, so some of you might need to talk to somebody or get a shabam with Bella would be good. So that means talking to a somebody who's not involved, you know what I mean? Like no one with a conflict of interest. Breathing in the symbols now, we're going to do a prayer to the angels that are surrounding you. Dear guardian angel, help me to believe that all is possible through love. Help me manifest my dreams and live an inspiring and fulfilling life. Help me please to feel God's presence in every moment. Help me feel eternally loved. Thank you for being always by my side. And then underneath that are blessings coming up when you chill out and let go and receive because you're not, it's time to receive like a little child. How many of those presents are mine, we say under the tree? How many of those are mine? Not, um, oh no, I'm all right. Oh, I don't really need anything. Stop that. It's like, where's my presence? Are my gifts here? Is somebody delivering a gift? Like that energy. Then somebody thinks, I should deliver a gift. And then brings in the gift. Because you sent the frequency out. Oh my gosh, I just saw that. So it happens the negative way too, you know. So know that when you're thinking of somebody, they're thinking of you. 
love, light, blessings. Through this card, you are being showered with angelic light. Accept the blessings about to come your way and know that you deserve to be and have all your heart desires. You are being lovingly guided along a golden path, a magical journey through which you shall discover your true essence, the infinite and eternal you. Congratulations. So just keep in mind, I'm early. I come in early with things. So that magical mystery tour might be coming up for some of you now. That's what they just said. It's like, you know, you didn't miss out. You're not going to miss out. Nothing in the whole, your whole life you're going to miss out on. They're showing me the angels have trucks full of gifts for you trucks i can hear them reversing down the driveway me 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 so all you need to do is open to receiving go um are my trucks here those trucks for me and they got all my gifts because i made room i cleared out the old i've got space now i've got space in my heart i've got space in my wardrobe i've got space in my life and I'm calling in unconditional love and I accept my wonderful gifts. So we're just going to end this reading with a message for you from the soulmates. So this is from your soulmate you're with now or from your future soulmate. We're asking for a message from them now. <gasps> Four Aries. Be still, listen and feel and just be. Have you forgotten what it is truly important? When you pass from this world, all you take with you is your soul and the beautiful memories it holds. You know, so it's like having fun. Having fun. About to create some amazing memories that you haven't had yet. Just think. The best is yet to come. Say it over and over and over and over. A loving thought triggers a loving response. See? Then you get the response. You're triggering it. Your love is felt and appreciated and an angel surrounds you. Oh, a sacred union is born, the union of twin souls within a threefold flame. Lots of twins coming together as well. So look at twin flames if you're a twin flame and comment on twin flames there. This is really for soulmates, not the twin flame journey as such. I know it does, it does interact and it's very exciting. But we're bringing unconditional love in all its forms and that includes romance for Aries. So open your heart to love, declare it every day. I am loved and loved. I trust in you, Jesus. I trust in you, Jesus. I trust in you. I trust my soul, I must have known it was going to get better and I must have known it was going to be better than I could even possibly imagine right now. So help me get out of my mind and open to magic and joy and this time around it's for me. This is love, undying, rapturous, ambrosia drinking. I love you, Aries. Get your free upgrade with me. We can sort it all out, clear it, and get you out of your trajectory if you're in a negative loop. Or you can get soulmate raking call in your soulmate. Be together in three to 90 days. I love you. Beltane's coming up. Stay safe. Don't do trick or treat because we don't do tricks. We just bring love. And it's a different vibration to satanic worship. So be very aware. Get your comments down below to create the grid. Sending love and light. Nothing deep. Reiki by Bella at gmail.com for any people or any situations you want to talk about. Or we clear it in your shabam. Get your free upgrade and I'll see you at your soulmate Reiki. I love you. Thanks for joining me and connecting here. Thanks so much. Bye for now. Okay, well, I'm going to clarify this here because, look, it looks like a two-part, like here is the the old story. You see here the old story. Sorry, I'm showing it to you. The old story, past, present, and then getting to know yourself. Or oh, actually, I wasn't asking for a need and I have to have it. So then your soulmate Reiki will help you with that if you need help with that. So workshop does needs, deal breakers in meditation. And things come up that you're not even aware of. And once you know, then it's automatically, it's like sending the frequency out and they turn up in the next partner that you tr attract in because we do a soul call to the one who's got those. And Jesus and Archangel Michael oversee it. So this is you free in the middle. Right, so up here is the first chapter. It's like the old chapter and then it's like um, intermission. It's like the first part of the play. Then there's intermission and then... Is there another card? We're missing a card. Oh, it's up there, sorry. But what happened there? This is the outcome. So this is the last chapter. 
chapter. This is the last scene. Do you know what I mean? Like this is the second half of the love story. The old had to go. How are they ever going to get out of this? How is it ever going to find love again? And then look, they spark their little flirtation up, put their little shorts on, wiggle their little butt and out they go. And there they are swinging around and look, mm, it's going to just come on top of you quickly and just catch you. So that's really really good because you're not expecting this this comes and and sneaks up on you it sneaks up on you because you don't care you're like i'm over it i don't i don't need any of that at the moment and then that actually has no resistance so what comes in is flirtation playfulness and passion so we're going to just ask these angels here for Dorian virtue for just some clarity around this because this is what you're shifting right now. It's been hectic, I'd say, for the last three, four weeks. But you knew before that. Like, you knew it. So it's actually manifested now. So it's been a bit of a tough time. The other thing that's been missing is fun. Your, ch your child, your inner child, wants to play, have some fun, flick some sand in your face and run. You know, no more D&Ms. Don't talk to D&M people. D&M people. <laughs> Got to talk to yourself. Meditation is receiving the messages, slowing down your mind, Aries, and receiving what will make me happy. And so this is a download. You might not get anything. You might not get actually anything, but you're getting frequency when you slow down. So do my 45-minute meditation. And then after that, you, you follow anything you hear, see, think, or feel because it's a download. And then you get the uploads when you need them. But you're not doing the download, so then you get upset when you don't get the upload. That's what's happening. So that's taking time out. This is what you're changing. And in nature is going to amplify everything. Making love outdoors, you know, camping, going in the water, bushwalks. Anything like that will help clear your mind, slow you down and get you connected to the earth, barefoot in nature. And then your fun, because that's what you did as children. I never wore shoes. Answered prayer. An answered prayer for Aries. So you've got to trust, right, that the, you knew that this was going to happen and you, your soul said yes because there was a reward coming, wasn't there? There was a reward. And you don't want to miss a reward because you're worrying about the pimple on your face or, you know, the um, failure or the this or the that or how come I didn't see that or no more of that beating yourself up. Just go, whew, thank goodness that's over. I think I just dodged a bullet. Fear not, beloved one, your prayers have been heard and answered. All of your prayers are always answered. Sometimes you may not feel this way because the answer comes in unexpected ways. This is very unexpected for you. <laughs> Perhaps you receive an intuitive feeling or a new opportunity appears or a book falls off the shelf. The angels answer our prayers in very often by giving us ideas or information in these everyday ways. By drawing this card, the angels request that you be extra observant. Notice everything that you hear, see, say, think and feel. Did I just say that? I've got um, deja vu. Oh, I said that in the meditation. I thought, have I read this card? Be especially alert to help that comes to you and be sure to accept that help. You do deserve this assistance and many times God enlists people to act as earth angels who bring you answers to your prayers. Here comes an earth angel sneaking up right behind you, Aries, to plant one right on you. <laughs> this is the part of the movie that twists, you know, everything's going really yuck yuck and then boom, 10 minutes later they're sailing off into the sunset, happy as Larry. Now who is Larry? Okay, so we do Archangel Michael. He's saying go forward fearlessly. Just go forward fearlessly from this moment on. We're just going to do a little message here from the Spirit Oracle. You got that message about writing stuff down. And then we're going to do Soulmate cards. So this is a Soulmate reading for the next chapter for Aries because we're in intermission, aren't we? <laughs> Yeehaw! Makes for a great story, right? And you guys are great storytellers. So even um, instead of talking about the past, have a fantasy conversation with a mate about how you want it to be, 
as though it's already happening. Go, wow, I'm so glad I got out of that marriage or that relationship or those addictions, those mood swings. They bothered me and I had to go to the doctor about it. No. Go, wow, now I'm free. Clean slate from nothing. I can have everything. So what do I want? Oh, well, it's so fantastic, you know. I just fell madly in love. It was only three days later. I couldn't even believe it because in your mind you wouldn't think that was logical after only like leaving a marriage three weeks ago. But bang, it was just like clear. It was like oh, all in divine timing. And people are even like, are you sure you're over that? You know, to be honest, it's like, yeah, they, they weren't me. I was over it like very time, like emotionally a long time ago. So you've got to own that. And here comes love. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to do the whole thing, the whole thing. I'm not going to do that one. Hang on. We're here. Surrender. This is in the past. I feel angels around you right now. They just came in. So we're surrounding where you are, surrounding your home or your room full of angels. So just take a big deep breath, close your eyes and just palms up and just receive any healing and know that you're protected and surrender. Remain positive about the future of our planet for all it is for all is part of humanity's evolution. There is a divine order to all the chaos which you perceive that exists in our world. Nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all as it is. Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations and your life will magically transform. So that's what you're doing. And look what comes in. Do, 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 do. Negative thoughts and feelings are sabotaging your pursuit of happiness. We, your angels, are here to help you. Heal. Allow our healing light to flow through your heart. Consciously infuse each negative thought or feeling with love and light. Feel both your heart and mind aligning to your soul's sacred purpose and unleash your divine potential through the power of love. Now, I know it seems like I get excited about these things, but this is epic. I mean, humanity hasn't experienced this, so we have to, like, the the Reiki masters, right, Jesus and Michael, they were like, you're not understanding what you're doing with the attunement, with frequencies and with sending it out. Like, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. <laughs> They're like, it's happening. A, a lot more is happening than I think. You know, we're doing a lot more. So as soon as I attune somebody, that frequency goes out to everyone they meet all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the rest of their life. It's like, oh, I didn't realise it was like well, so full on. They're like, no, get excited about it. Attunements are the go. The go. <laughs> we, we know that by how we feel after them. Feelings which you have suppressed for a very long time are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. These are writing down, thanks for being so crappy. Thanks for being such a la-la. And you can even get angry. Feelings that you have suppressed for a very long time are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. You are torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. And this is the primary cause of stress in your life. We, your angels, urge you to follow your heart. Do what you would love and not what you think you should do. Right, so some of you might need to talk to somebody or get a shabam with Bella would be good. So that means talking to a somebody who's not involved, you know what I mean? Like no one with a conflict of interest. Breathing in the symbols now, we're going to do a prayer to the angels that are surrounding you. Dear guardian angel, help me to believe that all is possible through love. Help me manifest my dreams and live an inspiring and fulfilling life. Help me, please, to feel God's presence in every moment. Help me feel eternally loved. Thank you for being always by my side. And then underneath that are blessings coming up when you chill out and let go and receive because you're not... It's time to receive like a little child. How many of those presents are mine, we say, under the tree? How many of those are mine? Not, um, oh, no, I'm all right. Oh, I don't really need anything. Stop that. It's like, where's my presence? Are my gifts here? Is somebody delivering a gift? Like that energy. Then somebody thinks, I should deliver a gift. And then brings in the gift. Because you sent the frequency out. Oh my gosh, I just saw that. So it happens the negative way too, you know. So know that when you're thinking of somebody, they're thinking of you. 
love, light, blessings. Through this card, you are being showered with angelic light. Accept the blessings about to come your way and know that you deserve to be and have all your heart desires. You are being lovingly guided along a golden path, a magical journey through which you shall discover your true essence, the infinite and eternal you. Congratulations. So just keep in mind, I'm early. I come in early with things. So that magical mystery tour might be coming up for some of you now. That's what they just said. It's like, you know, you didn't miss out. You're not going to miss out. Nothing in the whole, your whole life you're going to miss out on. They're showing me the angels have trucks full of gifts for you trucks i can hear them reversing down the driveway me 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 so all you need to do is open to receiving go um are my trucks here those trucks for me and i got all my gifts because i made room i cleared out the old i've got space now i've got space in my heart i've got space in my wardrobe i've got space in my life and I'm calling in unconditional love and I accept my wonderful gifts. So we're just going to end this reading with a message for you from the soulmates. So this is from your soulmate you're with now or from your future soulmate. We're asking for a message from them now. <gasps> Four Aries. Be still, listen and feel and just be. Have you forgotten what it is truly important? When you pass from this world, all you take with you is your soul and the beautiful memories it holds. You know, so that's like having fun. Having fun, about to create some amazing memories that you haven't had yet. Just think. The best is yet to come. Say it over and over and over and over. A loving thought triggers a loving response. See, then you get the response. You're triggering it. Your love is felt and appreciated and an angel surrounds you. Ah, oh, a sacred union is born, the union of twin souls within a threefold flame. Lots of twins coming together as well. So look at twin flames if you're a twin flame and comment on twin flames there. This is really for soulmates, not the twin flame journey as such. I know it does, it does interact and it's very exciting. But we're bringing unconditional love in all its forms and that includes romance for Aries. So open your heart to love, declare it every day. I am loved and loved. I trust in you, Jesus. I trust in you, Jesus. I trust in you. I trust my soul, I must have known it was going to get better and I must have known it was going to be better than I could even possibly imagine right now. So help me get out of my mind and open to magic and joy and this time around it's for me. This is love, undying, rapturous, ambrosia drinking. I love you, Aries. Get your free upgrade with me. We can sort it all out, clear it, and get you out of your trajectory if you're in a negative loop. Or you can get soulmate raking called in your soulmate. Be together in three to 90 days. I love you. Beltane's coming up. Stay safe. Don't do trick or treat because we don't do tricks. We just bring love. And it's a different vibration to satanic worship. So be very aware. Get your comments down below to create the grid, sending love and light, nothing deep, reikibybella at gmail.com for any people or any situations you want to talk about or we clear it in your shabam. Get your free upgrade and I'll see you at your soulmate reiki. I love you. Thanks for joining me and connecting here. Thanks so much. Bye for now.